Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Okay. So welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know, I'm going to be um, going through the... I'm going to be going through the... Just bear with me, guys. <laughs> bear with me. I'm going to be going through the Forex factory today. Well, shortly, just to see what we have up for today in the events calendar. We want to see what we have today for the events calendar. You know, we had a, a good week yesterday, a good day yesterday. We had a good day. You know, um, with the two trades we had. Okay. Right here. I haven't taken any trades yet. I haven't taken any trades just yet. I mean, you'll find that sometimes, you know, before um, we come on, I do post some trades you know for um the vip members you know but i haven't taken any trades just yet okay i mean it's still just the start of the london session anyhow i know some people start trading from an hour before you know um you know trading the, the start of the european session or the frankfurt session like we otherwise call it okay so Today, you know, um, today being Wednesday the 14th, you know, this is what we have. I mean, we have had the, the pound, the CPI and the pound. By the way, the CPI, the US CPI yesterday moved the market like crazy. I mean, I'll be showing you shortly. You know, for some reason, I just didn't trade the news yesterday. I walked away. I just, you know, um, closed out the, the gold trade we were in. You know, we, we, we won by about 20 pips. I just, um, you know, closed the gold trade, you know, because I, I didn't want to, you know, the market to go against us, you know, with the news. You know, but then I came back and I realized that the market moved like crazy. And I thought to myself, oh, my goodness, I wish I had traded the news yesterday. But one of those things, now we have the PPI, you know, later on today at 1.30 UK time, which is going to be about, um, I think, is it 8.30 or 9.30 there in the UK, in the States? You know, um, I'm not quite sure it's going to move the market as much as the CPI did. I mean, it's rare. It's rare for the market to move powerfully like that, you know, two consecutive days. You know, but you never can tell. You know, I would, I would be around this time. <laughs> I don't want to miss out. So, I mean, basically, this is the only news event that might affect us later on for those who trade the, the, the London and the New York session, or maybe do at least those who trade um, the beginning of the New York session. You know, so just to look out for that. Anyhow, so let's see what happened yesterday. This is, um, let's go to the daily time frame. This is gold now. This is gold. So you can see what happened yesterday. Crazy. Let's let's um, do this properly. One minute. So you can see what happened yesterday. See how powerfully gold moved, and you know. I mean, when when you see daily candles like this, see how well they are all more or less the same size isn't it you know it is when it moves like this and most of it happened in one hour 
you know, then you know what I'm talking about. So let, let's go to the one hour time frame. Let me show you. Uh, you can see. You know, let's do this. Let's do this. So this is yesterday's um, range, yesterday's candle. Um, so let's just, you know, box, box yesterday's range, yesterday's, ooh. So, uh, let's just say that was yesterday, yeah? Okay, so let's go to the one hour time frame. Don't worry guys, no haste, no haste. You know, we are going to get some trades possibly. So today is the 14th. So let's move this to, uh, come on now. Let's say the beginning of yesterday was somewhere here. So, so imagine that was like the start of yesterday between there and, you know, maybe there. Let's, okay. So basically between these two red lines, these two vertical red lines, that was yesterday's range between here and here. So you can see most of the move occurred. Okay, let's take this off now. Most of that move occurred yesterday, you know, in just one hour. It was crazy. I mean, imagine capture, from what I can remember, it was, it was about 300 pips or so. Yeah, almost 300 pips yesterday. That is mega. So I'm not surprised, you know, the market is basically just doing this. This is now a range. That's what tends to happen, guys. When it comes to trading, you know, these are some of the things you ought to know, some of the important things you ought to know. When, you know, the market, you know, moves powerfully, you know, um, you know, during any session or on the particular day, what then tends to follow is a range. I mean, it's, it's the market as it were, trying to recover from this experience. I mean, you can imagine it, this would have shaken out a lot of traders, you know, it would have shaken a lot of traders out of the market. Yes, obviously some made money, but it would have shaken a lot of traders out of the market and the market has to recover. You know, that tends to happen all the time. If you just go back. Now, we've not gotten any signals yet. You know, that's basically, we've not gotten any signals yet. No brilliant setup just yet. That's why I'm doing this. So I'm just trying to take you back to some other time when we had a big move in the market. And you'll see that what tends to happen is that the market then begins to consolidate. So you can see this. There's a big move here. Whether it's a, a, a big move to the downside or the upside, what then follows is a period of consolidation. So you see a big move and then consolidation. You know, to be honest with you, I usually would avoid, I mean, this is the one hour time frame. I usually would avoid, you know, um, the market on a particular pair, you know, after a big move like this, unless, you know, I, I'm thinking of some long-term trade, you know, because what tends to happen after a big move is a period of consolidation. Anyway, so let's go. Let's go look at today's um, setup. You know, like I say, I mean, after this big move yesterday, yeah, I mean, this, this consolidation is not um, looking too sweet for me to begin to enter. You know, so let's just check some other, other, um, other pairs. Okay. So this is what we have here on Euro AUD. We got a trade in Euro AUD yesterday. If I can remember, let me just confirm that. Sometimes these days, I just take the trade, post it in the, in the in Telegram channel, and you know, in a sense, forget about it. <laughs> you know, yeah, okay. We 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 had a sell yesterday. You know, we had a short trade yesterday on um, Euro Aussie dollar, which we won. It gave us about thirty-seven pips or so. Yeah, so we won that yesterday. Now, 
this is what we have today. This is what we have now. Let's just look at the daily time frame. Mm. Right, right, right. I mean, this is where the market is at at the moment. You can see that's the daily candle. If you look left, you can see there are some weeks, some rejections there. There is some sort of um, resistance here. You know, so we're going to have to keep an eye on that. I mean, that is not to say that it's not going to push up before pulling back, you know, because that can happen. I mean, obviously, that's what happened here. The price opened here, you know, uh, came down, went up all the way and closed back down. So also here, when the market opened, it went up. So whenever you see a week anyway, you know, it basically means, you know, there was a pullback. There was a pullback most likely a rejection of some area. So we have to be careful here, you know, with regards to um, rejection. You know, um, so let's keep an eye on that. Now, the truth is with a lot of, um, with a lot of, um, um, what do I call it now? With a lot of, um, the big move in pound related pairs yesterday, you know, we are gonna to have to wait for a very good setup before we push, push, we jump into a trade. So anyway, I mean, this ideally, it's one to look at, it's one to, um, yeah, I have to be, we have to be careful here. So yes, guys, good morning, good morning for those who are with us this morning. You know, feel free to always let me know where you are trading from. And feel free to join our Telegram group. Feel free to join our Telegram group, guys. Okay, so let's have a close look at that one and see. We're basically just going to go through, you know, all the pairs that um, we normally look at. So um, let's go to the 15. I'm just having a look to see. I mean, to be honest with you, I'll be looking for a pullback on any of this trade. Whoa, look at that. I'll be looking for a pullback, really. Before jumping in, I mean, this is uh, an area to watch. Okay. Okay. Now I wonder if this is going to give us a kangaroo tail. You know, there's what we call a kangaroo tail. It's one of the trading strategies I use. You know, um, let me show you how I would usually trade a kangaroo tail. <laughs> so, I mean, this was for me here now. I mean, this is a five minute time frame. You know, what's forming here, obviously, you know, could be a gravestone. You know, we call it a gravestone or a pin bar. So that's the way this has closed. Yeah, this could be a kangaroo tail, you know. Um, so we will wait for the close of this candle, this current five minute candle and see what happens here. 
if it if it, if it closes bearish, then we'll be, we could be looking for some scalp. So let me just um, we could be looking for a sell, a quick one. Okay. Now the thing is, I don't usually scalp on my live trading sessions, but if we get a if we get one that looks very interesting, then we could go for that. So let's see how this plays out. Let's watch that and see how it plays out. Let's see how that plays out. <coughs> You know, we have had, um, I mean, if you look at, if you look at the higher time frames, the four hour and the daily, you see that um, that's a key level. I mean, see, just see how the price has kind of like um, struggled in that area in the past, even recently. You can see that. So let's see. Let's wait for this um, five minute candle to close. Let's wait for the five minute candle to close and we'll take it from there. Oh, that's a big drop. I, I wasn't looking for that big, that much of a drop, but that's fine. <coughs> You know, I mean, the thing is, you know, with regards to trading, as usual, it's a case of the patient dog eats the fattest bone or the juiciest bone. You know, so as usual, let's not rush into any trades. Let's not rush into any trades. You know, so this seemed to have hit that brick wall. Let's just mark it up. Let's mark it up. Let's mark it up. I think there is a brick wall there which has been hit. Sorry, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> Okay, so let's, um, so I mean, so far, this one seems like um, the one that is looking interesting to me. Right, 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 right. Now, if we're to sell this one here, 
we'll have a stop loss of about 20. I mean, can we get a one-to-one? -one? That's the question. No, I'm not as uh, convinced as I want to be. Okay, maybe it's a case of waiting for waiting for the 30 minute candle or the, if you like the one hour candle to close. Let's check the 30. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to wait on this one. Okay, let's check pound USD. Let's check pound USD. Let's check pound USD. Yeah, I mean, the, the consolidation from yesterday, um, the big move from yesterday is affecting this as well. You see, when it comes to trading, one of the goals, you know, I mean, you know, I, I learned, I learned many years ago, you know, that you shouldn't just be one who has a good strategy, you know, that win. You know, you must also be a, a money manager, as it were. You have to be a money manager. You have to know how to manage, you know, risk and manage, you know, um, the money. We don't just want to trade for the sake of it. We don't just want to jump into any trade just for the sake of it. We want to basically be sure that we have perfect or near perfect setup before we jump in. So what I'm seeing at the moment is just not, um, it's not doing it for me. Right, let's try gold. Let's have a look at gold. It's not good enough saying, oh, well, Let's take this trade, you know, we just might win it. No, it doesn't work like that. So one of the ways in which you trade ranges basically is to wait for the price to break out of the range. So let's just pull this one here. Wait for price to break out of the range. If we check the, the daily, you know, the pressure seems to be to the downside. You know, so <clears throat> it could be a case of waiting for price to break out of this, this range. You know, the range is between these two yellow lines.
Okay, so well, that that's basically what it is. Now, the truth is, you know, we would just, uh, we could stay here, we could stay here all day, you know, but there's no need for that. What tends to happen is, I will post a signal Sorry guys, just a bit of a distraction here in the background. But obviously, you know, like I was saying, I mean, um, what I could do, like I would always do anyway, is to post the signal that I find on days which I trade live, on days where, you know, where I, I when I trade live, I would usually post the signal, you know, um, in the channel if I find one even later on in the day. You know, so it seems like that's what's going to be happening here today because um, otherwise we'll be here forever, just sitting around waiting for a setup. Right here. Yeah, I mean, gold is most likely going to be selling anyhow. I think it's most likely going to be pushing to the downside. Right, right, right. Okay. We see that this has dropped after all. I didn't want to take the risk. I mean, it still would have been the best, but we didn't take this trade. I mean, I didn't want to take this risk. You know, because you see here, you know, um, where it's at. If it breaks below here, then obviously we'll consider you know, the next move to the downside. Right, 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 right. If, if we can't get um, a good trade this morning, you know, in the London session, I'm sure what will most likely happen is uh, we will definitely get something in the New York. I mean, that would have been like 24 hours after that big push yesterday, you know, with the CPI, US CPI.
Okay, guys, let me um, let me basically come back. I'll be coming back shortly. My camera is going to be off. Uh, let's do this. Just one minute, guys. So that's um, pound USD, so you know. Okay, so I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back, and um, we'll see what we can find. You know, sometimes you just have to wait for, you know, either the four-hour or the one-hour candles to close, you know, before you um, get a better sense of the direction of the market. So I'll be right back, guys. I'll be right back shortly. Well, at 8.55 UK.
Okay. So we're still watching this one. Now I'll, I'll tell you what's going on here. You can see where we are at as well. I'm possibly going to be selling this one, guys. This is going to be a possible sell for me. I'll just wait to see the end of this candle. Well, not the end of that candle, the end of the five minute candle. So I am possibly going to be selling these guys. Let me mark it out. We missed it a while ago. It's the same kind of setup. We missed it a while ago on, uh, we missed it here. Uh, if we had entered here, a stop loss of about 18 pips, we would have gotten, you know, 18 pips, one to one. So it is the same kind of setup. It's playing up now on pound USD, guys. You know, so let's see this candle close. You know, I don't know where it's going to close, but we're looking at at least a 10 pip, um, a 10 pip risk. We are looking at a 10 or 15, 10 or 12 pip risk. So let's wait for three minutes and see this candle close. I've, I've not entered yet, so don't enter now. I've not entered yet. You know, I'll decide when this candle closes. This is what I'm looking at, guys. I mean, this candle has to, this current candle has to close. Well, it, it doesn't seem like it's closing as a, I would have preferred a solid candle. I don't really want much weak at the bottom here. I would prefer not to have no okay we've got one minute no i mean if this closed negative as sorry a bearish candle as a bearish candle but we don't seem to be having that as a bearish candle i would have entered this trade i would have entered that trade but it doesn't seem like we're going to get that one No, so that candle closed. Okay, so I mean, let's let's watch this one as well. Let's watch this candle. Now we're trading price action. Never mind all these um, moving averages. Now it's price action here, guys. I mean, when you see indicators on my on my on my um, chat, you might be wondering if I do trade price action. Yes, I do. You know, even with the indicators, the indicators are basically just to confirm. You know, you basically need to understand price action. Let's let's see what this candle does. We still might get into this trade. Let's check the higher time frame.
Okay. You know, like I say, guys, patience is the name of the game. If you're not patient as a trader, it's going to be difficult to be profitable. <laughs> you see, and I usually like to close out one trade or be in some good profit on one trade before jumping into a second trade. You know, um, like yesterday, for instance, you know, during the live session, we uh, we, we got the, the, the trade on um, Euro Aussie dollar for a sale. That was a good one. You know, I didn't jump into any other trade because I want us to secure the bag on one trade first, on one pair. You know, so that's why you, you, you're not going to see me necessarily looking at so many pairs at the same time, looking to enter them at the same time. Okay, so this is basically what we... We missed, we missed this one. So we'll basically now see how it reacts to this um, this trend line. This is Aussie. Sorry, this is Euro Aussie. Oh, oh, well, <laughs> look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Well, good, we haven't entered. We haven't entered this one yet. You know, like I said, I mean, with this candle, which perhaps could count as some sort of um, a kangaroo tail, not quite a perfect one, you know, because you can see other candles are quite near it. I would have preferred if this was a bearish candle and that would have given us the confidence to get in. Not so much a bearish candle with a huge wick at the bottom, you know, but obviously, you know, understanding price action is good. That's why we did not get into this trade. So let's take this out of here. Okay. So, guys, I am going to be buying this one. Let's just wait for, ooh, we could have bought it here, really. Let's see. So wait for a pullback. We're going to be buying now. Wait for a pullback. We're going to be buying. I mean, if you want to take the risk, then you could buy now. You know, because I'm a day trader, I could trade either direction. But this, I mean, I was looking for a sale a while ago. That would have been looking for just 10, 15 pips. But with this one, we seem, it seems like we are going to be able to get a lot more pips out of this one. Uh, come on, where are you? I would prefer if we did it this way. Now, this could be a good one, guys. Wait for a pullback to here. Wait for a pullback to this line, which is a yellow dotted line. That's where I usually enter the trade. My yellow dotted line is where I usually enter the trade. Uh, okay. Oops, 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 oops. We've not entered a trade yet. I've not, I'm not in the trade yet, guys. Okay, I'm, I'm getting in trade now. 
uh, this is the 15 minute candle. Wait for a pullback. Let me just type that there. That would be the best entry. Like if you get into the trade now, well, that's, um, that's going to be up to you. But really, I will wait for a pullback. I'll wait for a pullback to here. Wait for a pullback. So you could set, you could set, um, if you enter now, This could be a good trade, guys. It could be a solid. You know what? I'm getting into the trade now. I'm, I'm getting into the trade now myself. You know, um, it might not pull back for us. I'm willing to take the risk. Okay, I've just entered the trade now myself. But if you want to, you could do the same or you could wait for a pullback. It's entirely up to you. You could set a buy limit order here. Let's do that. And this is where we are targeting. So you can see the risk to reward is super. Uh, the risk to reward is super. That's gonna be where we are targeting. Um, Okay, so the risk to reward is like one to four. Now, you might not get the whole of it, you know, um, during the London session, obviously not. So wait for the pullback to this line, or let's see how the can this candle closes. This is the 15 minute candle. Let's see how it closes. Hope it doesn't push up too high. Hope it will come back at least close to the dotted lines. If it comes back to the dotted lines for us, then um, we would. I have entered the trade on my own, but you know, if you want to play it safe, guys, I would say to wait for a pullback. Let's see what happens with um, this. So we're looking at TP1, TP2, and TP3 with this one. That's what we're looking at. So you can see guys, you know, uh, we've been patient all day. And it seems like it's going to pay off for us, which is good. Which is good. So 
So welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're trading with me today, let me know you're there. Say hello, say hello. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah, I think this is gonna be a good one, guys. So TP1 will be here, TP2 here, here, and the final TP. But obviously you can always take, take your, take partials if you want, wherever you want, as long as, you know, at least try and, you know, get one-to-one -one. because we are risking about 40 something pips. Let's just say about, um, you know, about 45 pips or so. You know, to get over 190 pips. And like I said, it might not happen in one day. So don't expect to get all that in one day. If you are, if, if it gets a TP1 and you're happy with that, then, you know, just leave it. So we're getting this candle closing now, which is good. You know what? I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, guys. We might want to leave it at TP2. You know, so that um, some don't get too greedy and start losing unnecessarily. So we'll leave it at TP2. You know, that'll be TP1, TP2, which is still like um, 100, 110 pips. So you might want, I don't know. Yeah, this is how I'm going to leave it. You know, I would take partials along the way. So, 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 this is awesome. It would be good if we have another winning day today. You know, we had a winning day yesterday. Like I said, I am in this trade already. You know, I'm, I, I, my account can handle it. So I'm in this trade already. I know not everybody can handle this. I mean, I suppose this is an opportunity to say, guys, like I was saying yesterday, and like I am going to keep on saying, you know, a lot of Forex traders come into the market with a very small account size, $50, $50 you know, $100, maybe a maximum of $200, $250. I mean, it's a bit of a challenge. It could be a bit of a challenge making an income out of that or getting a regular income out, getting an income out of that. You know, that's why you see some traders get desperate and begin to, and begin to take all kinds of unnecessary risks because they don't have a, a large enough account that can pay the bills. You know, so I have been introducing people for months to an additional stream of income, you know, whereby it, could, it, it supplements your Forex trading. You know, like I say, you know, you can always contact me in the Telegram group and I'll give you more info. I'll give you more info as to this source of income which is crypto arbitrage, crypto arbitrage. And with that, we don't lose trading crypto. I know some of you are shocked at that. I mean, in Forex, we lose some, we win some, but overall we want to win. Okay, so guys, I mean, I would definitely say to get in here now, you know, let me, let me change the, let me, you know, definitely get in here now. I mean, that's going to increase our risk a bit, but that's fine. You know, I would say get in there. It is still, you know, at least, you know, uh, a two-hour a, a, a two trade. That's basically um, a one to two. So I am in this trade now. TP1 is 35 pips, that's fine. Let me see if I can further break it down for you guys. That's 110 pips. I'm sure we can get TP. We can change things a bit. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see how we we'll do this. You know, I want, I want 
us to get the most out of this trade. Yeah, I want us to get the most out of this trade, guys. There we go. So, I mean, now you can further break it down into what TP123. So it could be TP1, TP2, TP3 here. So we are in this trade. We are in this trade now. I mean, you can see the clean traffic here. I mean, you know, this this could, I mean, I have made it TP123, but it could push as high as that. And, you know, I am going to be targeting this area really on my own account, you know, because it's um, it's bigger than that of most, most Forex trader, retail traders. So guys, as opposed to waiting here all day, I think I am good to go. You know, um, now I know some might want to place the stop loss below this swing low. You know, it's it's really up to you, but I would place it here. I won't, you know, I won't take it lower. And also to say, guys, you know, with my strategy, now listen to this carefully. Listen to this carefully, guys. With my strategy, what I tend to do is, you know, I'm sure those of you who follow me on Telegram, you know, those who are part of our Telegram group, you know, that's the way I tend to post my signals when I type it out. You know, I mean, sometimes I will post this box there, you know, which is the position box showing you the, the direction I'm going and my stop loss and all that. But th there are times when I actually do post specific price prices as to the stop loss, the take profit and all that. You know, I would usually say you can, you can buy anytime before the price gets here. So here now we have a stop loss of about about 50 pips. We have a stop loss. We are risking about 50 pips stop loss. So the way I normally would do it, when I post it you know, in the Telegram group, I would say you can buy anywhere before the price hits stop loss, as long as your stop loss remains 50 pips. Now I know, I, I do know that um, some people are gonna be wondering the rationale behind that. You know, that's for another day, you know, but. You know, you can basically, even if it pulls back, you can still get in. That's what the market does. You know, it pulls back. It does not move up in a straight line or move down in a straight line. So wherever you enter this trade, you know, you can just make sure you still have uh, 50 pips or at least place your stop loss here. Uh, let me, now I hope you guys are understanding this. So anywhere you enter the trade here, anywhere you enter the trade, let it be at least 50 pips, not more, not more. So, you know, around here will be like the most. So let's say you enter the trade, if it pulls back and you get it here, to here will be like almost 60 pips. Don't do that. You know, so let it be at least 50 pips. Let me just do this. 50 pips from here. Yeah, I think somewhere around here. Okay. Let me do it this way then. So you can still enter the trade. Um, okay. So what I'm saying here is that, you know, you can still enter the trade up until here. If it gets here or if it goes below there, don't enter anymore. You know, so if it gets here, that's the second stop loss. So this is stop loss. This is first entry, second entry. If you if you took one, one entry here, that's fine. That's up to you. But you know, if you want to take two trades maximum, this will be the first entry. This is the second entry. This is the first stop loss, second stop loss. I suppose that makes sense. I'll take that again. This will be the first entry. First entry, that will be the stop loss for that one. 
and this will be the second entry that will be the stop loss for the second one so that's the way i am taking this trade today and um I'm going to post this in my VIP channel. I'm going to post this in my VIP group. Um, there we go. So that's TP1. TP2. And TP3. So, I mean, I, I, I would not, I would look for, I would look to post other signals in the VIP channel. You know, so for those who are in the VIP, you know, expect other signals in the channel, you know, but um, if you want more signals, guys, you know what to do. Join the VIP signals and, you know, you should be good. Join the VIP Signal channel and you should be good. Let's leave it here. Okay, guys. Let's see how it plays out. I'll be back tomorrow. I'll be back tomorrow, Thursday, uh, trading the London session, which starts at eight o'clock in the morning. Have a profitable trading day and God bless.